What's up guys? I actually didn't plan to upload tonight, but CSGO released a new patch and I just had to go over it. It's a lot to digest and a lot to show. This time I'm not just going to go over the patch notes, I'm also going to show you the new stuff as well and just try and make it simple since I'm trying to get this up as fast as I can to show you guys a new update. If you guys do want to read it for yourself, I'll leave a link to the blog post below. All right, let's start off with the maps, man. There are two new maps and they're insane. So Biome and Sub-Zero are now in the casual matchmaking. There were two community maps and they look pretty cool. I'll show off a little bit here. And now Australia is in the competitive map pool. Yes, my dumbass did just say Australia. It's Austria, by the way. I just caught that after I said it. Then they removed canals as well as shipped and insertion. I think this is really cool that they're adding new maps and I just can't wait for them to come to competitive. I never really liked canals, so, well, I did like it, but you know, after like a week, it got pretty old and it was quite dead. So glad they took that one out, specifically canals out. So yeah, it's quite nice. They added a VoIP positional audio setting. This setting is actually pretty cool in my opinion. So when it is actually enabled, in-game voice audio will be played from the player's position. If you guys ever played Arma, this is very similar. And I mean, most games are actually kind of like this, PUBG. But when it comes to CSGO, I don't think this is very useful. This is a team game, your teammates on B and you're on A and you barely even hear them. That, I mean, that's how I assume it's gonna be like. That would be a little bit weird. They made some gameplay tweaks. In competitive matchmaking, both teams are now considered to start the half with a one round losing streak. That is reset following a round win. Instead of 1400, the round one loser receives 1900, then 2400 for a subsequent loss, etc. The start of half losing streak can be adjusted via MP underscore starting underscore losses. I just read this directly from them because I didn't understand it at first. But yeah, this is actually a big change, believe it or not. Doesn't sound that big because literally their gameplay, like if you look at the patch notes, it just looks so small like this patch. But that is a big change, man. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about that. Then they made some big changes to the CZ and the Tech 9. Their whole goal with changing the CZ is they want it to be used as a semi-auto, longer range pistol, rather than what it is right now, which is mainly you just rush and full auto. Not saying like rushing like the old Tech 9 strat, I'm saying like you hold a close angle and you kind of wait for a player to run into you. Basically, they increase recoil and fire inaccuracy, but on the other hand, they improve the accuracy recovery rate. I don't even think this was like uh, really that good of a change to be honest with you. I'll show me shooting the new version of the CZ in game right here. I haven't played with it yet, but I bet the recoil is going to be pretty high. Keep in mind the patch just dropped and literally it was like five, six minutes ago. So I haven't even touched the game yet. And for the Tech 9, they just made it more accurate. They reduced the fire and accuracy and they improved the accuracy recovery rate, just like the CZ. Man, I mean, I'll test that out in game and show you the footage, but man, this stuff doesn't sound too good right there so far. Then they edited the prices of the SG and the AUG. They reduced the price of the SG and now it is 27.50 and they reduced the AUG's price down to 31.50. So get ready to see more COD guns. <laughs> then they added some miscellaneous. You can check that out for yourself. It's really not that important in my opinion. In conclusion, I really think this update is, I don't know, it's kind of mixed for me. I don't really like the gun changes if I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how I feel about the new economy adjustments, but I do like the map adjustments. So I'm gonna give the, you know, the game a try. I'm gonna play a little bit after I upload this video and I might comment my full opinion on it after that. Let me know what you guys do think of the patch and uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy me showing a little bit of the stuff this time because last time I just read the patch notes, gave my opinions over some gameplay. Let me know your thoughts on the update though. That's really important. Thank you so much for the recent support. It's been great. If you guys did enjoy, please drop me a like. It means a lot. Possibly sub with notifications on. Check out my last few videos. They're pretty sick. If you guys didn't enjoy, please drop me a dislike and a reason why you didn't enjoy so I can improve. I really hope you guys have a nice day or night wherever you're watching it and peace peace